So we got Son and Rodrigo on the attack, and good old Ruben Diaz in the in the defensive line. Son, seven hundred thousand coins for this card. Four star, five star. He's still got that finesse shot play style plus. He still can play plenty of positions as well. And he's uh, one overall higher than his team of the week card. I'm pretty sure there's a certain stat. Oh, it's stamina. Yeah, the stamina went up by three, but I believe everything else went up by one. But yeah, he does look like a very good card. A very expensive card. Rodrigo, four star, four star, medium, medium. Can play plenty of positions as well. He got a massive upgrade. Compared to his gold card, humongous upgrade, and he goes for 400,000 coins. Earlier, it was like 350, but it looks like Fodder has gone up. He's got good stamina as well, so he is going to be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. His uh, playstyles look very, very solid, technical, first touch playstyle plus as well. Saying that he didn't have a playstyle plus before, it's good that they actually gave him one. And then we got Ruben Diaz. I can't believe they have not gave him more pace. How? How has he got 65 pace? He has got a four-star weak foot, medium high. But yeah, I've stuck him on a uh, shadow. Let's hope he's not too slow. Let's hope that he can still catch up to some players. Let's hope that he's not going to be a liability next to Virgil van Dijk. Let's hope this duo is going to be unbelievable. His defensive stats are actually crazy, aren't they? 91 strength as well with 94 aggression. It's just the pace. That's the only thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. 72% of people watching right now aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Okay, Sedilia, Coquelin. He's been liking his play SBCs, clearly. Son, good turn. Rodrigo, little pass across. He read it as well. If it went to the right player, we would have uh, messed up anyway. Okay, Son. That's what I mean about the finesse shot playstyle plus. Like, yeah, okay, I greened it, but look at that. Look at Rodrigo. Straight through. No. Wait, he's brought it back. He's brought it back for a foul. Is this a free kick or a penalty? I think it's a free kick, right? It is. I messed it up. There's no shot. I went to skip the replay. If Son came short here, we could have done some some dirty, uh, dirty tactic. But I think we can still probably get a goal with Rodrigo here. Green? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's what I was expecting. See, the thing is, right, team of the season, Rodrigo, was absolutely insane at Travellers. So you best believe I'm going to go for Travellers with this card. All the way at the top. All the way. Nice. Little flick on. Touch. Finish. That looked like it went through someone. It's actually crazy how good he's shooting is. And keep in mind, I've got on an engine chem style. Like... If he was on a Hunter, yes, his finishing would be better, but you have to ask yourself, does it need to be better? Look at the strength, by the way. Go on, Rodrigo. He's still on his feet. Right, ref. Nice. We, he wore back for the foul. Nah, Kinsella's lost it. Diaz, or you? I mean, it's a good tackle. Keeps intercepting everything. Turn, Rodrigo. Turn. Oh, we got that. I think he tackled too early. Oh, he's out of it. He is not happy with that. Yeah, he did. You can see there, he tackled just slightly too early. That was a good finish. When we match up against maybe like an Mbappe or something crazy like that, that's when we're going to see Ruben Diaz maybe struggle. Edison, Rojo, Rudiger, KDB, or Rodrigo. Rodrigo is very fast. Is he on a Hunter? He is. He's got him on a Hunter as well. He's really nice with the ball. Like, his control, his touches just around the, around the sides. Yeah. Go on, get round. Ura. That's a goal. No shot. I thought a keeper was about to get there. You see what I mean, though? Like, he's got some really good, like, sharp touches that just allows you to get past really quickly, like, really, really quickly around the defenders, midfielders, the whole lot. And right, let's see if he plays this. He doesn't. Diaz, all you. Okay. Well played. All right, come on. Here we go. This is a pace test. Diaz. I see a turn. See, he didn't really, like... I don't know. He didn't feel like he was a liability with a the pace there, did he? Go on, son. Yeah. That finesse shot came off so quick, I couldn't even time it. Play that. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. No, he misses it. He should have gone for a little outside foot. I think that would have been a goal. That animation with his weak foot was a bit weird, but you see how quick the turns were? Let's get DS over here. Get DS involved. Yeah, he just collects the ball. Every time as well. He just collects it. He doesn't really like hit that ball far away from him. He just goes over, says, yeah, give me that. And that's it. Mbappe, go. Go, 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 go. I'm going to fake this. And then Bora scoop. Beautiful. Nice. Finish. <gasps> no. 
Look at Rodrigo. Nah, I can't get round. Oh, Mbappe? Surely. That's why you pay 3 million coins. Well, that's why I paid 3 million coins. Actually, you know what? Let me not play like this. We got enough space. No way. He saved that. Nah, big mayday. Look at this. Nah, he couldn't catch up. Okay. Yeah, that's where you saw his pace be a little bit of an issue. Like, if that was Virgil van Dijk, I am telling you right now, Virgil van Dijk is going to catch up. He is. Like, Virgil van Dijk, with his sprint speed, he's just going to go in front of him. So a quick R1 dribble with him. Why not? Go on, Rodrigo. All you. All you, Rodrigo. All you. All you, Rodrigo. That wasn't even in the corner. We'll roll inside. Nice. All you, son. All you, son. Oof. Hit a crossbar. I must admit, son's, uh, son's dribbling ability. I mean, it's all right. Like, the left stick dribbling is pretty nice, but it definitely doesn't feel anywhere close. Anywhere near Rodrigo's. Like, when you're using both of them, you can really feel the difference. Green. Top corner. Top bins. This Rodrigo card is the real deal. I can't go in, yeah, for a crazy tackle there because we're already on a yellow. But Diaz, again, just collects the ball. I believe we matched this person before. Varane, they're there. He's got Kaka. Rodrigo, Rashford, Neymar. That's a sweaty team. I'm going for it. Son. Yellow times. But it doesn't matter because it's off kickoff. Because of it, because it's off kickoff, a yellow time finesse shot flies in. I'm telling you, off kickoff, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure how this game is. Oh, what sharp turn. Green. Okay, I was about to say, everything goes in, but then all of a sudden, I miss. You see that sharp turn, though, from Rodrigo? Take that. Play it, Rodrigo. Play it. Mbappe. He didn't bring him out. We still scored. We still scored. He started. How many goals has uh, Rodrigo got? Four goals, five assists. Really? In three games? What about Son? Four goals, zero assists. So he's more of a goal scorer. He's uh, pretty much actually doing both. Yeah, same goals as uh, Son and actually assisting as well. And then Mbappe is being Mbappe. Diaz hasn't uh, been too bad. He's putting some good tackles. Very possession-based, and it's because of uh, this playstyle plus. He just, like, collects Wolf players. But his pace has been a little bit of an issue. Currently 9-0. All right, I see you. Magnan, Virgil, Modric, Haaland. If Son comes short, it actually allows us to go for a finesse shot either side. But Rodrigo's Travellers have been pretty good as well. <sighs> Hits the post. No way. Diaz, come on. See, you know what I mean? Like, he is catching up a little bit. You can definitely tell, though. Like, if you match up against these sweaty players like Mbappe and all... Whew, Diaz is not going to be that guy. He's not going to be able to catch up. I mean, to be fair, not many players can catch up to Mbappe. Son? No. Out of all the players in this team, I would have definitely said Son is the guy to finish that. And he missed it. In the middle. Son? No. Oh. Oh. What a pass. Nah, no, not a great finish. Not a great finish. I'm surprised I went through though. Now nah, we're going to fake it. Now we go. Down the line. What away. Rodrigo. No. <gasps> Sorry. That's all I can say. Let me skip this celebration as well. Like the jam. The jam to get around. Like three players there is ridiculous. Good tackle, Diaz. Let's go for it, driven. Fake this. Beautiful. I just had to get Virgil van Dijk to go back slightly, and we got that. Uh, Rodrigo, I definitely would say, is better value than Liao. Reynard. Hmm. Questionable team. Turn. Go for it. <laughs> nice. No, I made sure that went to Rodrigo as well, because if I played it to Mbappe, he's just going to be offside. Driven it. Modric. Son. Touch. Finish. I'm telling you, it's shooting in this game. It's so inconsistent. You best believe if it was last year, that flies in. But watch, this will fly in. Watch. You know what I mean? It's like a finesse shot will fly into the back of the net. But an angle inside the box that you think deserves to go in, the won't go in. It'll hit the pose or miss the target. Play it. What a ball that is. Shot cancel. Son. No, I should have gone for a pass. Oh, come on. We did well, though. We did well to get around the key, but it's just... We need a pass. Little Lacroquette to pass. Come on, son. 
That is not Son. That is Rodrigo. What a turn. What a shot. What a goal. You see what I mean about the left stick dribbling? You see what I mean? Like, the dribbling. Just look at that. On the spot, three different touches to get round the player. The one, two. Son's in. Go for it. Green. The fact that he can do that on both feet. Yeah. I understand why there's some pro players that use Son. I understand. Look at that, man. And then we just do this and he goes in. Now, Odyssey, Travellers and Finesse Shots. Those two, they need to be sorted out. They're going in way too often. The thing is, right, when your left stick is this good, like, do you really need five star skill moves? I don't think you do, honestly. Go play it. That played the Son, not Dembele. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just sprint past it here. <laughs> like, what have I just seen? Nah, Mayday. Leal versus Diaz. Yeah, no chance he catches up. No chance. He missed. Let's see if we get a little passing play here. Nice. Little turn back. And again. Yeah, that's the thing with Son. Like, you don't want to do too much with him. You definitely can't do what you can do with Rodrigo, where you can literally just turn players inside out, do stuff like that. Rodrigo is the real deal. He is so nice. Play it. Nice. Little play a lot. Oh, oh. Just take our time, you know. Just take our time. Just try to get that perfect angle. How many goals did Rodrigo score? He scored nine goals in five games, six assists. This guy for 400,000, 100% do it. 100%. I was just making sure he's still 400,000. As I said, earlier he was 350, but fodder has gone up. Hunter Kemsel, I believe, is the way to go. With the way you're meant to use Rodrigo, pace. Pace, 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 pace. Especially in that winger position, it is needed. It is something you want. Hunter is the way to go. This playstyle, by the way, I didn't realize this playstyle was this good. I'll be honest. I did not realize this playstyle was this good. This playstyle is the real deal. I've been underrating this playstyle this entire time, but... Yeah, you can definitely tell with uh, his ball control. Son, 700,000. The thing with Son is you have time. You have time to complete him. He's gone up all the way to 770,000 now. But you have time to complete him. It's not something that, you know, you uh, need to do instantly. It's not something you need to do straight away. You can just take a time with it and then eventually do him over time. He's worth it, though. He is. I understand he's a lot, and I understand the inform goes for 450,000, but this card is broken. The finesse shots are just so good in this game. It is a joke how good it is in this game. And with Son, the fact that you can do it on both sides with his five star weak foot and all, yeah. I definitely would recommend this card, 100%. There's going to be a ton of pro players using this card as well. It's not just one of those cards that's going to be used in champs for them. They will use this card at like pro versus pro tournaments and stuff like that 100 percent. actually maybe as a super sub when you're at a pro tournament you get access to anyone you want so you know you have to keep in mind r9 and stuff like that is there as a super sub for those pro players possibly ruben diaz a little bit slow a little bit slow for me listen tackling wise he's unbelievable pushing players out of the way is really good as well with him and reaction something you definitely do notice is that as well but the pace the pace is the main reason he is not on the same level as players like Virgil van Dijk. It's the same reason he's not on the same like level as like a Rojo and stuff. I didn't even say uh, tier this ranking. Rodrigo is amazing, but I think S tier might be pushing it a little bit. For me, he's like A++. One foot in the S tier, one foot in the A plus tier. I'm telling you, he is the real deal, especially for 400,000 coins. Son, he's S tier, 100%. Ruben Diaz... A plus. All right. A plus Ruben Diaz. I didn't feel like his pace was a big issue. I didn't feel like it was something that, you know, made him unusable. But I also felt like you cannot put him on the same level as like Virgil van Dijk and a Rojo. No chance. 